Remind me again. Why didn't we call a moving company? Come on, isn't this fun? Ah, <sighs> I'm gonna miss this studio. Cheer up, buddy. Out with the old, in with the new. What's up, survivors? Had fun with our last hatch? I certainly hope so, because I'm here to share with you the latest updates. The long-awaited, highly anticipated PvE mode is finally set and ready! Starting from this patch, team up with friends and face epic monsters and bosses head-on! Defeat them to level up skills and upgrade weapons, enhance your abilities, unlock higher levels of difficulty, and take the challenges even further! Call up a few buddies and get prepared for a whole new adventure! And what do you know? Looks like it's the season for... Armaments! First off, an addition to the mode-switching family. The Trogon! Dominate the field with this versatile, close-to-mid-range firearm that deals massive AoE damage and can be toggled between shotgun and grenade launcher mode. And then... Let's welcome our new buddy in the Items and Throwables crew with a round of applause! The end-all, be-all item to bypass a crowd! A launch pad that allows for a larger variety of play zone strategies. Besides the newcomers, this is also quite a hot patch for weapon updates. Not only have we optimized the crosshair interactions in an effort to provide players more info and feedback, we've also made the M1014 upgradable. Ah, I can hear the blast already. Um, so here's some other weapon adjustments. Um, let's see. Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh, who's excited for this season's grand reward? Because I can't wait to get my hands on the golden AK-47! Deep down, we all have a place in our heart for that one special gun. Want to look back on all the good times blowing enemies up with it? Want to track your weapon progress and see how far you've come? Whichever it is. With a major patch for weapons, we introduce... The Mastery System! Now, you'll have a designated place where weapon achievements are quantified and visualized. Polish your gun skills and unlock rare gun skins at the same time. Next, the loadout system is officially coming to Clash Squad mode. Expand and enhance your battle style with the help of eight different preset loadouts. To name a few, rushers are rewarded extra tokens for eliminations with the bounty token, and team members can enjoy a buff effect purchased and granted by your support. By the way, have you guys heard about what's coming to Lone Wolf mode? That's right, you've guessed it! An ice theme map designed and created with the winter spirit in mind, dedicated to our one and only cult favorite mode, is coming your way! Get ready to fight the chills and rage through the cold! Speaking of a different kind of rage, it's challenging enough to multitask in the midst of battle, let alone pay attention to the map. That's why we've reworked the minimap to make it much more intuitive and informative. Now, players are able to check the minimap on the go. While you're at it, remember to get a feel for the zoom, mark, and mission list features. Of course, you can choose to hide those anytime you want. Finally, we bring with us a couple of game environment improvements. First for one thing, you now get compensated for a much wider range of negative experiences brought Double by toxic kill. teammates, including intentional feeding, 
So don't forget to click report next time you see someone giving free kills to the play zone. For another, we also optimize our calculation model so that the detector offers more timely feedback and provides more accurate results. We know that this is only a small step in the right direction. We care deeply about providing a fair and clean game for everybody. And we won't stop until it is done. Ouch. Remind me again, why didn't we call a moving company? Come on, isn't this fun? Uh. Oh no! My new trampoline! 